Finally, one more thought. According to the ancient Greek philosopher Epicurus, no age is too early or too late for the health of the soul, which may well be true when it comes to our soul, but life proves that we can be too early or too late for the health of our economy, our businesses, or our politics. I learned this the hard way back in 2000 when I was running ABC News, and we joined the other networks in calling the election way too early, which earned all of us news presidents a day of hearings before a congressional committee to explain ourselves and what we were going to do to make sure it never happened again. We learned just about a year ago now that the Fed was far too late in pursuing the questions its examiners had raised about Silicon Valley Bank, resulting in the bank's failure and the need for the FDIC to step in. The Fed had plenty of authority to prevent Silicon Valley Bank. It looks to me like the regulators knew the problem, but nobody dropped the hammer. Just about everyone agrees that it's still too early to judge just how big an effect a generative AI will have on business, jobs, and the economy, despite some early indications that it could be huge. I can think of almost no area of human activity, almost no area of economic endeavor that is not going to be profoundly affected um, by these technologies. And one thing we already know is that NVIDIA did not move too early in getting a big jump on the market. So it, it, it's NVIDIA, but it's not just NVIDIA per se, because what in, NVIDIA represents is the next growth leg of corporate America, of productivity, and of earnings for the, the fastest growing companies in America. When it comes to politics, President Biden says his economic policies have arrived just on time to create jobs and to spur growth. The share of working age Americans in the workforce is as high as it's been in 30 years. Remember they used to say, Biden spent all this money to keep people from working. People are off the sidelines. But there are others who contend that Bidenomics may be both too early and too late. Too early in fiscal stimulus triggering the inflation that has a lot of voters upset. Voters are going to be voting on the passion of what's happening on Main Street. And if you look at what those interest rates are for a small business to get a loan at 12 percent, nothing's happening. So that's not going to change that drastically between now and November, and they feel it. But perhaps too late for voters to see the real effects in their lives of the long-term investments in infrastructure and clean energy and new chip manufacturing. President Biden today, 38 percent of Americans say he should be reelected. Uh, we looked at his three-year average. Um, his approval on the three-year average is 39.8. Mm -hmm. He's behind every single president except Jimmy Carter at wow. this point in their presidencies. And maybe that's the hardest part of this too early, too late business. At the time, it's just about impossible to know whether we're moving too quickly or too slowly. Just as pro golfer Adrian Moronk, last Sunday, he was playing in an LIV golf tournament in Jeddah. When he lined up for his second shot on the final hole, he had a lot on the line. He was vying for fifth place, which would have earned him $750,000 in prize money. So it's understandable that he didn't want to rush it. He stood over that shot for more than two minutes and was assessed a penalty stroke, making his birdie into a par and losing him $240,000. A pretty good example of where being too late does more than just affect the health of the Epicurean soul. Right now, we're seeing an agonizing choice between being too early and too late with a lot more at stake than $240,000 as the Federal Reserve tries to decide on rate cuts. Pretty much everyone agrees that the Fed was too slow on the way up, which resulted in that unpleasant inflation that we're fighting. I am confident that they understand the problem correctly now. The wishful thinking is all gone. Now the question is how to avoid being neither too early nor too late in coming back down. I do think we were a little slow to adjust rates uh, when inflation was gaining strength. But at this point, we have policy in a good place. We can adjust the policy rate down if the economy calls for it. 